Good morning from the National Weather Service office in Lake Charles. I'm meteorologist Donald Jones and this is your weather briefing for Thursday, August 25th on the latest on Invest 99L. Not too much has changed with Invest 99L overnight, so let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the satellite imagery of 99L this morning. And we're just getting our first look at 99L this morning as the sun comes up over the horizon, and as you can see, it remains a very disorganized system with no well-defined circulation. The storm itself continues to produce squalls of showers and thunderstorms, which are producing tropical storm force winds, but as we mentioned yesterday, without a low-level circulation center, the system cannot be classified as a tropical storm. An Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter aircraft is scheduled to go out and investigate the storm later on this morning to determine if a low-level circulation actually exists. If one is found, then the system would probably be upgraded directly to a tropical storm, bypassing the tropical depression status as winds are already gusting to 45 to 50 miles per hour. Taking a look at the water vapor imagery this morning, this image shows the moisture content in the atmosphere, and as we mentioned yesterday, 99L continues to move into an area of very dry air, as you can see here in the blacks and browns. Now these conditions are fairly unfavorable for development, and add to that the fact that most of the storm is moving over parts of the very mountainous Dominican Republic and Haiti, and it's easy to assume that any development of this system will be slow to occur over the next 24 to 48 hours. The one condition that 99L does have in its favor, though, is very warm sea surface temperatures. Sea surface temperatures ranging anywhere from 80 to 86 degrees across the Western Caribbean and the Bahamas, and then even warmer temperatures, if it does eventually get into the Gulf, will provide plenty of energy for 99L over the next several days. Here's a look at the National Hurricane Center's tropical weather outlook for the next five days. You can see the area highlighted in red there indicates where 99L could potentially be five days from now. And that range of uncertainty extends all the way from the northern coast of Cuba up to the eastern panhandle of Florida. Still a lot of uncertainty with this storm because without a low-level center, most computer models can't identify the location of the storm and therefore they can't determine where it might go. In general though, 99L is going to be steered westward at least for the next couple of days by a large area of high pressure centered over the eastern United States and out into the western Atlantic. The eventual fate of 99L, or whatever becomes of it, will be highly dependent on how this high pressure area moves over the next several days. This is just one model's depiction of the high pressure area over the next several days, and as you can see, it slowly drifts further to the east, leaving an area of low pressure over the central, northern, and eastern Gulf. Now, generally speaking, 99L, or whatever becomes of it, is going to continue to rotate around this area of high pressure. Where the periphery of the high pressure lines up is where 99L will eventually make its northward turn. And at this point, it's just too early to say where that will occur. So given the large uncertainty with the center of circulation of the storm, and also the uncertainty with how the high pressure will move over the next several days, there's a very large uncertainty as to where 99L will eventually go. Some models continue to point to the low getting into the Gulf and eventually making landfall along the northern Gulf Coast, while others move it up the peninsula of Florida and then eventually up the east coast. The picture will come clearer in the coming days, but at present we just don't know where it'll wind up. In the meantime, we are going to be looking at fairly high rain chances today. We're going to be looking at about a 60% chance of rain, especially this afternoon and early this evening. This is not related to 99L, but rather another upper-level low-pressure area moving across our area. Areas that get under thunderstorms could pick up a quick half-inch to an inch, but this rainfall is not expected to have a significant impact on rivers that are currently in flood. So to summarize, 99L remains a highly disorganized system that does not have a defined low-level center, and as a result, the computer models don't have a very good handle on the eventual track of the system. As the system continues to evolve, we anticipate that the eventual track of 99L will become more clear, so be sure to stay up to date on the latest situation, but be careful about where you get your information from. Be sure to use only reliable sources, such as us here at the National Weather Service, or your local television or radio media. We will continue to provide these briefings so long as the threat exists, and our next briefing will be this afternoon after the Hurricane Hunter aircraft have had a chance to investigate the storm.